We turn now to the transition of power. New Yorkers are waking up with a new governor. Kathy Hochul officially was sworn in overnight, and Andrew Cuomo issued one last statement in his defense before he resigned from office. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live on the east side with the latest. Good morning to you. Michelle, good morning. We're standing outside of the Manhattan office of Governor Kathy Hochul. She is New York's first woman governor. Now, overnight, her swearing in happened in a short private ceremony at the state capitol. She plans to spend her first day in office meeting with legislative leaders and speaking to the public this afternoon for the first time as governor. And the now former Governor Cuomo issued his letter of resignation yesterday. He addressed the state that he served for a decade in a video message that touted his accomplishments, but he also fought against the the allegations leveled against him until the last minute, questioning the attorney general's report that accused him of sexually harassing 11 women. The former governor saying the truth will eventually come out. When government politicizes allegations and the headlines condemn without facts, you undermine the justice system. And that doesn't serve women and it doesn't serve men or society. We have no admission of guilt. I mean, he, he wants to come off as this magnanimous hero that saved us from, a, a, from an ugly episode that he caused. Well, as for now, Cuomo has not said what exactly his next steps are. He's going to take some time and figure that off out. His senior aide saying that he's going to spend some time fishing and spending some time with his family, also saying that he will not run for office again.